which is why I don't think affiliates should be coddled as hard as they are. I think I think Twitch is doing this because what's happening right now is not everything in life is controllable though. Well, so that comes to my other point, Helltone. Just because you can shoot a basketball into a hoop doesn't mean you're gonna be a professional basketball player. Just because you can turn on a camera and play a video game doesn't mean you're gonna be a streamer. That's another thing that people need to actually come to terms with. That maybe you're just not a streamer. Maybe you just shouldn't do it. So it, you, you can't blame everything else. You have to look to yourself first, Helltone. Not everything in life is controllable, but you can control a lot of it. You can control a lot of it. Um... A lot of getting growing in Twitch is luck. But you have to manufacture that luck. It doesn't just happen out of the blue. You have to put yourself in the position to receive that luck. I got I got rated by Ko last year, Ko Carnage. He's one of the bigger streamers on Twitch, top 100. He averages around 10 to 15,000 people. But he wouldn't have rated me if he didn't know who I was. I had to make him know who I was. I'm happier than a pig in shit because he knows my name. And you know what? I didn't just walk in there and say hi to him. There's a million people that walk in there and say hi to him. I actually had to get his attention and earn his trust. And that that's a chore. That takes a lot of hard work. And you know what? I got it. Will I hear from him again? I don't know. I want to. Well, Neopod, I appreciate you, bud. But yeah, it's, it's going to be a process. Also, Kyle, it's good to see you, buddy. Hope you had a good day at school today. I hope you were able to play some music and not get mad at kids for being kids. Because I know kids are infuriating. <clears throat> but thanks for coming in and hanging out. Yeah, and Amanda, what, what's crazy is a lot of people who beg for the attention can't handle it when they get it. You have to be able to you you have to be able to sell yourself. It's a job interview every time you get rated or every time you rate somebody. If you notice, I don't put a lot of attention to the people who come in with one people, two person raids. Because when I say when I say hey, what were you working on today? And they don't say anything? They're not worthy of any more of my time. I'm giving them an opportunity to make themselves known, and they're flopping at it. I There's no further cause for interaction from me just because you rated me. If you're not willing to converse with me and actually try, I'm done. What's illegal in the UK, Goosebelly? Okay, Goosebilly, that's not what I mean, dude. So, um, what is it called? It's called an elevator pitch. I don't know who, who all has heard of that before. But an elevator pitch is simply, you need to have 30 seconds to tell people about yourself because you only get 30 seconds. When a raid comes in, 80 to 90% of that raid goes away in the first minute. No one's going to know who you are unless you say something. I have friends who are like, oh, I'm going to show you guys a raid video. Then they play like a four and a half minute video of clips. No one wants to see that. They want to know who you are, what you do, why you do it, and that's it. And if you don't, you're not going to keep anybody. I, I've raided into people and they're just like this. Meanwhile, we're spamming chat, we're dropping follows, and they're just like. Guess what, dude? You blew your chance. You have to be on top of your game. And you have to have a, an elevator pitch. Yeah, Wolf Dragon. If no one knows who you are, how are they going to like you? 
How are they gonna want to watch more of you? You gotta, you gotta be able to tell people. Yeah, dragon, it does work. Just speed dating has been a thing forever. I know quite a few people who met during speed dating. You get a couple minutes at the table. Hey, how are you? A, B, C, and D. This is me. Either like it or don't. Because what happens is when you're put under pressure, you're more likely to talk about things that you know and what you're passionate about, and that gets people interested. If they come into your stream and you say, I like uh, boobs and drinking beer, you know, you'll get the people, you'll get the Coconas to stick around, but you're not going to get everybody to stick around, you know? But that's if that's who you want, that's who you get. <clears throat> Gotta admit, I started streaming, I feel like uh, lame rating with three to four people, but you need to, Grunark. But here's the thing, you don't raid three to four people into a hundred or fifty. You raid three to four into two, into three. You want to double someone's viewership. Do you know why? If you increase my viewership by two, I'm not going to remember who you are tomorrow. But if you double my viewership, I'm never going to forget you. So if you've got three to four and you raid somebody who's got two, they're going to remember who you are forever. They'll be like, remember that Grunart guy? He doubled our viewership the other day. It's a concept people don't seem to understand. And then when you get five, you rate into someone who's got five. All of a sudden, they're at ten. You've doubled their viewership. They're in double digits. They're never going to forget you. That's how you make friends. That's how you network. You don't rate five into a thousand. They don't care. They don't care. I rated 50 into 100, and they didn't care. You, you got to hit the people that you're going to make an impact in. Some people are more welcoming than others, but those are the ones that are more successful. Yeah, Amanda, and they're more likely to come check you out. There's a there's a whole metagame with rating, Grunark. If you end at 4, rate somebody who starts at 3.30. That way you're not stepping on their toes. You're not they're not stepping on yours and you can advertise hey watch this guy first and come watch me afterwards boom now you got people who are going to go to both channels because they want to support you both and now you know it works create a network a community a circular clock of people you can raid into well sleepy developer a lot of them don't have them anymore co doesn't have raid alerts Because they just, they, they have all their mods take care of everything. But yeah, you're right. They don't have them. But it's it's just, you, you have to think smaller. Hi, Puerto Rico. Thanks for being here, bud. You don't want to raid 50 with four. Raid three. Now, some people are going to be like, well, yeah, but if I do that, that's less people that see who I am. So... It's more people than you're going to get that care. No one, no one cares if you rate four into a hundred. Hi, Space Builder. How are you, bud? Well, Chaos Ninja, that's just it, though. It depends on what kind of Minecraft player you are. But if you get rated by 500 after a minute, you're only going to have 100 people there, 150 people there. So the other 350, they left before you even fired up the raid video. They don't care. They don't know. They don't even know you build at that point because your raid video is booting up. But yeah, it's it's. Just like I said, if you're a small streamer, if you're new to streaming, you want advice, send me a DM on Discord. We can have a talk. Don't talk about it here on my channel. I will, I will, I will, we will talk about anything and everything. And I promise you, if you, if I give you some advice and you actually do that advice, you'll grow. I promise you, it's guaranteed. It's just like fishing. Fishing has an ABC set thing that you, if you do it, you'll catch fish. Streaming has the same thing. I can make a channel tomorrow and I can get affiliate in less than two weeks. I promise you. 
and I won't. I, I don't have to advertise it anywhere, and I, I can get it. It's not difficult to do. Affiliate is easy to get. You just gotta know what you're doing. Like the pros who play like League of Legends and stuff and go from like gold or from bronze to platinum in two days. And people are like, how do you do that? Because there's a way to play. If you know how to play, you're going to win. It doesn't mean you're really good at the game. It just means you're really knowledgeable. It's not hard to get to certain places. It's hard to maintain it. Getting to Platinum and maintaining Platinum are two different things. Getting to Affiliate and maintaining Affiliate are two different things. Getting to Partner and maintaining Partner are two different things. I'm not maintaining Partner numbers right now. It sucks. I feel bad. But there's, there's a lot of things you can do. And it's all just, it, it all takes effort. If you're willing to put in the effort, you'll get, you'll get paid back for it in, in, in spades. A, a big thing that small streamers don't do is they don't fill in dead air. You can't just sit there quiet. You can't wait for chat to be the content. You have to be the content. And what I always tell people is pretend like there's a little kid tugging at your shirt, asking you why every time you say something, because it keeps you talking. What's the hole for? Uh, for my food. How you doing, Chris? We're putting in a creeper farm. So, like, let's say, let's say I had nobody watching me, and I'm here. I have to start up a conversation myself. So, so we're digging, we're, we're digging two rows at a time of this massive hole because we're putting in a creeper farm. Now you have to imagine someone says, "Why? We're putting in a creeper farm because I want to be able to obtain, uh, you know." gunpowder for rockets and for TNT in the future. Why? You know, you, you have to keep going. You can't just sit there in silence. No one's going to go in and, and if you, if you're sitting in silence, the, the kind of chat you're going to get is hello question mark. <laughs> Cause they don't know if you're real or not. They think you're a bot. Amanda, it sucks. But you have to, you have to be able to put on a show for people to want to talk to you. Am I doing this by myself? Yeah, this is hardcore, single player. Why, why, what, Kyle? What did I do? Yeah, you can tell by the hearts that I'm playing in hardcore. You're being a smart ass. Okay. I mean, I don't, I don't mind answering my questions. Oh yeah, I know that, but I also said a bunch of things. I didn't know what he was asking why for. I can expound upon it. I don't mind. Well, Grunark, you only you only got to talk to yourself long enough to get someone who comes in who's interested. And then they'll talk to you back. And then you can use that to bounce off of. You can say, hey, Grunark, I hope you're having a good day. How was your Thursday? And then that could give you something to bounce off of while you're continuing to fill in dead air. You know, my Thursday today was pretty good. I made a really killer omelet earlier. You know, you can go talk about food. Then someone else can chime in. I really like omelets too. Oh, hey, new person. That's cool that you like omelets. What is your favorite kind of omelet? See how everything's changed? And now you can go in about that. My favorite omelet is usually when I can put a little bit of sausage in it, maybe a vegetable. But you got to have enough eggs. Sometimes I put a little bit of milk in it to make it fluffy. Now you've already created a conversation. You're creating content. You're there. You're opening things up. And people are getting more inclined to come in. Because someone's going to be like, I like ketchup with my eggs. Ketchup? That's interesting. And somebody will be like, ooh, ketchup's horrible. Why do you think ketchup's horrible? There goes the conversation. How far to bedrock? Yes. We just started this quadrant. We're going to be a while. This was the other one over here that we did. I'll show it to you. But that's but that's what you want to do because then once you start spiraling the content, it all catch it it all catches up. No pun intended. Hi, Camaro Shell. Welcome in. Because we're bringing up food. I had two cups of Easy Mac when I got home from work. It's probably all I'm gonna eat tonight. So I'm glad to have eaten the Mac. Yeah, that works out. 
Chris, we're here just to hang out and enjoy each other, my friend. Got a nice little chill stream for you to be in. You haven't had Easy Mac in so long. I haven't had it in a while either, but I'm not. I'm not like traver I'm not like adverse to it. Are we at 60? We're at 63, Warner. But yes, yeah, close enough. But but you see how much conversation started just from talking about food and stuff? You're not going to have that many people in chat, but you can bounce off of that. You can be like, you can laugh as a, a, buddy, a buddy of mine used to only eat Easy Mac every day when he got home from work. We used to call him Cheesy Man. You know, tell a story, a funny quip about something. An anecdote. That gets people... You want to be personable to people. Can't just You can't just be a robot. Oh, the estimated completion time? I don't know. I want to have it done before 118 comes out. And Amanda, he is. Miss Chrislin, how's work today? Are you guys slow? Are you working in your jammies? Makes sense. Yeah, Grunog, it, it's... And, and some people aren't cut out for it. Like I said, you're not going to be a professional basketball player. You might not be a streamer. It's not for everyone. But but what happens is Twitch Twitch makes it accessible and gives you little things that get you excited about it. And human nature comes forward and you're like, oh, a feedback loop. If I can get this many people, I get an achievement and I can turn on ads. And then it gets you interested in wanting to do it because you saw someone else do it and it looks easy enough for you. And and people get frustrated. They, they let their emotions get too much a hold of them. You can be passionate about, about what you do and not be a little prick about it. The people who are passionate that are like, mean about it are what we call Karens and Kyles because even though they may have good intentions they go about it in the way wrong way and that's why they're a meme who am I giving advice to? anyone Kyles? yeah tell a lord Kyles especially those <laughs> oof question mark but no K-Y-L-E's -K not K-A-E-L's he gets a free pass Okay, Kyle's a boomer. <laughs> we were talking about some stuff earlier, Chris. And I'm, just, I'm, I'm winding down from the conversation, but I'm just touching on a few things I didn't touch on before. Got to tell my boss that they don't pay me enough. Oh, yeah? They wanted you to do something that was above your pay grade, and you were like, actually... I was having trouble killing the animals. I looked around to find someone to watch I could help with. I was the only person watching him. Started a conversation and ended up getting a lot of info and other people joined the conversation. Yeah, but but see, that was that was different. What Was he talking when you went in there or did you have to make him talk, Camaro Shell? He's probably also the only person playing Raft on Twitch. <laughs> Raft has been a very polarizing game on Twitch. There's either a lot of people playing it or no one playing it. You can't just start a conversation? Hey, but you know what? At least they were talking. You know what? I, I, I kind of want to do a just chatting stream one day where we go into other people's chats and we give them like 30 seconds to a minute. I, I give people like a minute. If you don't wow me in a minute, I don't, or, or at least keep me around in a minute, I go away. Hi, Tiger Fang. How are you, bud? Also, also another thing, if you can't watch your own content, you're not making good content. If you can't go back and watch your VODs and like leave one going while you're like brushing your teeth or whatever, then you're not making good content. 
That's another big thing. You got to be able to like what you're doing. If you don't like it, change it. I actually really enjoy going back and listening to my VODs because I'm like, oh, what were we doing just then? Oh, that's actually really cool. Oh, I can't believe I said that. I'm such an idiot. And it's, it's kind of interesting. I got a guy, he's a he's an acquaintance. In fact, Jaff knows them. He's been streaming for I don't know, seven years. Still averages six to seven viewers. He actually went on Twitter and did a daily 30 second to a minute video on tips how to grow on Twitch. I wouldn't I wouldn't go watch his videos if I were you. <laughs> Because if he's been streaming for six years to five people, his videos aren't going to be the best sources for, <laughs> for growth. Here's how you can stay at five people for seven years. <laughs> oh, boy. Sign me up. Tiger Fang, are you, are you in better spirits today, my friend? Uh, Twitter's actually a really place to a really bad place to get viewers. Just like TikTok's a really bad place to get viewers. TikTok's a good place to get a following and maybe make a buck or two, but it's really bad for getting Twitch viewers. Coming down from the sinus infection. Also, it's a sinus infection. That's crazy, dude. I'm doing all right, my friend. We're just digging a hole. Miss, Miss Chrislin, how long have you been at your job? At that, at that one place. Seven years? So, um, one thing... It's really weird. In today's day and age, it's actually easier. You'll make more money if you hop around than if you stick around. Because what happens is your employer gets comfortable and they start paying you less and less. Which is why you're in the bottom 10%. You could go sign a new job right now doing the same work you're doing and making twice as much money, I bet. That's why you're looking for a new job right now? That's why I, I didn't really want to tell that to the people I've been interviewing with because they're like, I noticed you've been hopping around past few years. Any reason why? I'm like, oh, they came to me with a better offer. They're like, oh, okay, cool. I didn't say because I wanted to double my money in two years. I worked, I worked for a company for seven years, Miss Chrislin, and I was being paid bottom percentage as an estimator, and I asked for a $2 an hour raise. It was 10%. I asked for a 10% raise, and they fired me on the spot. I got a job four days, later, four days later making twice as much. And then I got a job making 30% more than that in a year. Yeah, oof. It's it's crazy how things are. No one no one rewards tenure anymore. Sadly, the only people that reward tenure are places like Walmart and McDonald's. <laughs> they have they have really good plans for people that have been there. The government does, yeah, but you have to you have to jump through some hoops to get in there first. Or know a guy that knows a guy that knows a guy. Yes. Can you get crazy? Yeah? I mean Oh, oh, okay. Did you have any more calls after that, or no? Yeah, I had another two calls. Oh, I'm sorry. No, was I was I allowed afterwards? Uh, not after you noticed the mic or something. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't. I get passionate about things. That's exactly what I said. I know you're passionate, but <laughs> I got like 15 more minutes. She was like, "You gotta shut up in there. You're I loud." I did not. I will. I will take a screenshot of that message. And I'll Photoshop very... it. Oh my god! It was. It was not a mean message. I know it wasn't. I thought it was very nice and like, all right now. Hey, just a heads up. You're loud at AF. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I'm trying to work. It wasn't that. No. I'm getting paid more per hour than you are right now. Let me do my oh, job. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's funny. I actually did my job. Your company doesn't even offer a pension? Yeah. I would, I, yeah. Good luck finding work, Miss Chrislin. I've job hopped for the past three years now, and I make 
like ten dollars extra an hour than I was three years ago. Yep. So can confirm. Hi, fed up. What's up, buddy? One of our potential new owners said he cutting our pay two dollars an hour. That's illegal. Yeah, fed up. That's illegal. They gotta make you sign that. Unless you're working in some weird backwards place. Yeah, fed up. Screw that noise, dude. There's a job shortage in the country. If people are docking pay, they're idiots. They're not going to fill that spot. I would have told them the same thing, fed up. Well, sleepy developer. That, that's why I said Walmart and McDonald's do that all the time. If you've been working for Walmart for like 10 years, you're set. Walmart has a really good, like, long-term plan. You just got to make it through all the bullshit first. You got to make it through 10 years of Walmart first. <laughs> but, but if you're willing to do that, it's almost like working for the government at that point. You get, like, five weeks off every year. You get 401k matching. You get stock options. I mean, it gets crazy. Amazon's the same way. Yeah, but Amazon, I've heard, is a little shittier down at the bottom. Wolf Dragon. I've heard it's a little shittier at the bottom. But, but, it's, it's work that people don't want to do, which is why there's incentives the way they are. Well, yeah, that's, that's what I, yeah. But yeah, all the all the cush jobs and stuff don't offer stuff like that anymore. Are you making coffee? Yeah. I was gonna say I smell coffee. Ah. Uh -huh. Because we used to work at Walmart, they purposely scheduled him just for under full time. Yeah. But but that's but that's the shit you gotta go through, Miss Chrislin, unfortunately. That, that all happened back, without getting too far into rule number one, that happened about 13 years ago when all that stuff started happening. Give or take a few years. As a big F you to certain individuals. <coughs> Sleepy, I, I mean, are you at the one job or have you been bouncing around? Bye, Wolf Dragon. I'll see you soon, bud. Just one job? Have you have you tried shopping around to see if you can make more, or are you happy where you are? You're probably making a decent chunk anyways. And since you're solo, you're probably just fine. More than enough to sleep on the job. I mean, to develop naps. I mean... You're a damn good sleepy developer, that's for sure. <laughs> You're making about what you were making back in the day at your previous estimator. Ah. Yeah. I'm sure you can get I'm sure you can get double as much if you looked around, dude. But then you gotta get used to a whole new work environment and everything else. It's the dynamic people are afraid of. People are afraid to change. Space Builder, what are you exactly? You're like a developer, right? Technically, kind of. He does, like, IT shit. Yeah, Miss Chrislin, and that's what they banked off of. You're a software developer. Yeah, see? And he just recently changed jobs. 